here in the, the pitch we're standing on here, what's, what's going on here? It's a, what we used to call this was a plastic pitch, but they don't call it that anymore, this was. No, no, they're a kind of a 3G monofilament uh, carpet now is, 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 is what they're called. And it's basically, it's your, it's your artificial turf uh, with kind of an, an infill inside in it that gives you kind of a shock absorption. Uh, crumb rubber is usually used as the, as the top layer. Crumb rubber, that basically takes the impact. It, it takes the it takes the impact and it also gives you you know good grip in the pitch when you have your blades yeah. or, or, or your moldies that you normally wear on, on an astro pitch it gives you good a degree of a bounce on your turn and, and and indeed it gives you grip and there's sand underneath the rubber which also acts as an agent for grip is this thing that's taken off in the ga like you know know the ga how far it's gone yeah. uh, how much how hard we're training at earlier times in the year <laughs> before when you used to play you used to rock up in february uh, yeah, for a national laps. yeah a couple of laps <laughs> and you'd be ready to go <laughs> We'll see today whether you're going to have a full length pitch. Is, is there such a well, thing? Well, like we did full size above in the Kayla for the school up there in Tyrrellstown. But there's games, you know, and that there's games on, on, on the 3G pitch in, in UL. Above in Abbottstown, you know, yeah. that's the brand new GEA facility. They've got four full size pitches and they've got one full size Astro yeah. because they know, as well as we do, there'll become a day where a team will want to train in January, February, or March, and it'll be after a week of rain. And no matter what you do with the other pitches, they're going to be wet, they're going to be, you know, they're going to get damaged. Whereas they can say, look lads, we'll just go on to the Astro and they know that they'll go on there and they won't have to deal with any of that. They'll have, they'll have perfect conditions underfoot. I personally love the certainty of knowing that when I land and twist to go, that but I'm going the way I want to go. Into the chest he's given them by. When we have to pass these pitches for the GEA standards, they do uh, a ball bounce. You know, if it's bouncing the right height off the ground, a ball roll, and they do it with an O'Neill's and also with a slitter. Yeah. How are they for taking freeze? Have you ever tried them? Well, uh, we leave about a 20 mil pile at top. It's nearly what the level would be in Crow Park of the, of the length of the grass on, on match day. I'm in the business of selling these pitches and the amount that we're putting into clubs and rural clubs around Ireland that weren't there 10 years ago or weren't even thought about being there 10 years ago would lead me to suggest that that's the way this is going and that's the way the game is going and then we're a sports mad country we want good facilities and these facilities offer you that they offer you a, a training facility that you can have all year round uh, that no matter how much you play in it it's going to give you the same the same capabilities the same standard of play uh, whether you have five games in a row or, or you can literally have games on all day and all night and you have the same surface